What you guys got another video here for you now if you want to control uh, when you download your windows updates and also uh, when they install then this video is for you uh, if you're using windows 10 home then obviously you won't be able to uh, manage that in group policy editor you would have to use services uh, to disable that feature that's the only way you're going to be able to do it now in windows 10 pro and above you can use group policy editor so what we're going to do here is first start off with Windows 10 Home and I'll show you how to do it in Windows 10 Home first and then we'll carry on with Windows 10 Pro and above afterwards. So first off what you're going to need to do is go down to the uh, search box here and type in here services. Now once you do this uh, you'll be able to open up the services pane and this will allow us to disable uh, the Windows uh, updates. So open this up and I'll just expand this out so you can see it. Now I wouldn't advise you to disable Windows uh, updates uh, permanently because obviously you need security patches and stuff like that and it's important to have those. But if you want to temporarily do it while you're playing a game or something like that, then this is always the only way you can do it. So you can see Windows updates here, double click on it and it will open up another window here and you can see it's set to startup type manual. What you wanna do here is put this on disabled and then click stop. This will stop the service from running and then you can apply an OK. It's not going to hurt the computer. All it's going to do is stop the Windows updates from downloading and installing on your system. So if you go down to the start button here now and click on settings and you try to run the update and security tab here and then click on updates, you'll get an error code and that's because we've uh, stop that service from running and that's the only way you're going to be able to stop Windows 10 updates coming down and installing on a Windows 10 home system. Now once you finish what you've doing you can restart the service by putting manual back in, click apply, click start and this will restart the service then click OK and your Windows updates will start to come down as normal and that's the only way you're going to be able to stop uh, the Windows 10 updates in Windows 10 home. So let's have a look here now, uh, go here. If you want to pause the updates, you can do without stopping the service. Go into advanced options under Windows updates and you'll see an area here called pause updates. This is an area where you'll be able to uh, pause your updates for up to 35 days, which can be very useful if you don't want updates to come down at that particular point in time, you can pause them. So the next one is Windows 10 Pro. So let's go to the search box and type gpedit.msc. And what that's gonna do is open up the group policy editor and allow us to have much more control. But you're gonna to need to make sure that you've got Windows 10 Pro and above, okay? So once we've got the local group policy editor window open, what you wanna do here is go up to where it says computer configuration, move down to uh, administrative templates here and open up that little uh, window there. Now you can see Windows components, open that up and then drill all the way down until you see Windows updates. And if you see it there, you just click on that. There we go, Windows update. And inside the right hand pane, you're looking for configure automatic updates. Okay, so once you see that, you just click on it, double click, and it should open up another little window. So this will open up another window, and all we need to do here is click on Enable, and then down below here in the Options pane, you'll see Configure Automatic Updating, and you'll see there is five options here. So what we want to do is select the right option, what we want, and that's notify for download and auto install. What that means is it's not going to download uh, your update until you uh, OK it. And that means it's not going to download and it can't install. And that's the best way to do it. And this is, gives you much more better control on a, a Windows updates. OK, and this is using the group policy editor. So once you've got that set to what you want to do, you can just apply and OK that. And any big large updates or any sort of updates that you don't want to install, you want to delay them, this is the best way to go about doing that, okay? Anyway, you can see that's enabled now. Close the window off and you're pretty much good to go from there. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon.
Bye for now.